If you've spent much time on the trails, then you've probably been in that moment where all of a sudden your rig starts to tip a little too far. Today, we're gonna to talk about the physics behind that tipping or rolling over and how not to tip your rig. Let's start by defining the term center of mass. What is an object center of mass? Well, truly, the concept is so full that it really deserves its own video. But for now, let's think of it like this. Every object has a balancing point. On a seesaw, the pivot point is fixed, so you have to balance out the weights to balance out the seesaw. If you're holding a stick, on the other hand, the weight distribution is fixed, and the independent variable is the position of the pivot point. You have to find where it will balance. The center of mass of a rig is just the point at which it balances front to back, left to right, and bottom to top. It can be nicely represented with a triple integral, but you probably don't want to hear Calc 3 lecture right now, so just think of it as the point on which all the Newtonian forces would act on this truck if we were to view it as one entity. Another term I'd like to define is track width perimeter. This is simply the boundary formed by the outside edge of your tires, the track, and the wheelbase of your rig. Your rig will flip if the line drawn from the center of mass of the rig down in the direction of gravity hits the surface you're driving on anywhere outside of your vehicle's track width perimeter. Let's go through a few examples so we can clear up this foggy description. If we draw a line down from the center of mass of this rig in the direction of gravity and it hits the surface which the rig is driving on anywhere outside of the track width perimeter, then we're going to have a rollover on our hands. Thankfully for this rig, looks like its line drawn down from the center of mass is going to hit within the track width perimeter, so it's going to stay upright. Every vehicle has four critical angles. The ascent angle, the descent angle, the right side hill, and the left side hill angles. What that is, is the angle on one of those four slopes at which the line drawn in the direction of gravity from the center of mass of the object down to the surface where the driving on hits the left, right, front, or back boundary of the track width perimeter. For instance, this guy looks like his dot is getting a little close to that left-hand boundary on his track width perimeter. Or in other words, it looks like he's approaching his left side hill angle. If we have a vehicle on a 45 degree ascent and we draw our line from its center of mass to the surface we're driving on in the direction of gravity and we look at its track width perimeter from above and then we look at the point that it hits the surface we're driving on within that track width perimeter and we look at the simple proportions that that point has to the edges, right? If it's three quarters of the way to the back, that means three quarters of the weight will be on those two rear wheels. Or if it's three quarters of the way to one side, then three quarters of the weight will be on that side or a combination thereof of side hills or ascents or descents, then we can simply, through proportions, I mean, there's not even algebra here, know the weight on any of the four corners of the vehicle. Now, it's not like you're gonna be doing all this math in your head while you're driving up a slope, you're like, whoa, I wonder what my angle is right now. But if you were to program this in, make some algorithm that you could plug into the Hummer EV's computer that would like, eh, 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 you're about to reach a critical angle because you're at a combination of this side hill and this descent, and we can sense through your shocks what your weight distribution is. Yeah, that'd be a way simpler way to do it. Just see through your shocks what your weight distribution is. Yeah. Then it could at least alert you, you know, don't continue on this path, you're about to go, Enough talk about all that weight transfer in physics, because we know that there's no way to mathematically quantify every trail in the world and how our vehicle with its little idiosyncrasies will react. So what can we do practically to help our rigs not flip over? 